Namaste. Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Manamam Anjali hey, Hamachi hey, Kaisa hey up. And today we're going to update you on our mail from China situation. Yeah. Um, you guys had a lot of comments. Stay safe, give it to the police. Um, thank you guys so much for you know your concerns. We called the police and left them a message and they haven't called us back yet. So we're going to call them again and um, leave them another message. We know they're super busy between yeah. the coronavirus. They're not taking as many calls. They're not coming out quite as much for little things. And um, there's been a lot of protests going on even near us. Um, so we know that they're busy. We're trying to be respectful of this, but we'd like to know if they want us to just bring it down to the station and file a case so that they can check it out. Um, or what we should do with it. So um, we're hoping, and we'll keep you posted as this goes along, um, how, you know, what's gonna happen with this mail that yeah. we got from China. So I'm gonna call the police again and leave them another message while I'm recording with you guys. And um, you know, when they give us a call back, we will record it as well and, and keep you guys in the loop. So, yeah. ready? I was calling um, we received a package in the mail that was from China with nothing we had ordered in the mail and it has a uh, unknown sender on it sure. what uh, township do you live in tell us about an emergency that you need to follow a report with the Richland Township officer regarding that okay okay thank you um, you're welcome Um, this is not an emergency. I had called the police department and they transferred me to you guys so I could um, put a, re um, a report in with a, a Richland police officer. No, we've all been quarantined in our house. We're all healthy. No. Um, we actually had a package that came to our house um, that is a very small package and it has, it says it's from China and we haven't ordered anything online and or from China um, anytime recently. Um, our concern was that it came from an unknown sender. No, it arrived, I want to say, last week. I haven't been getting the mail every day, so um, I, I kind of waited to make sure my husband hadn't ordered anything, and we checked all our online stuff. Nothing we have ordered in the past was supposed to come from China. It, yes, that's the thing. Like, we do a online YouTube channel, and we have, like, a P.O. box that if fans want to send us something, we have them send there. Um, this actually came to our house with my husband many friends in China. Um, the people that we know from here, nobody sent us anything, um, but it has a bunch of writing we can't read and it says unknown sender. It's a little bit concerning. Where is the box at now? It's, it's in, um, we put it in a Ziploc baggie. It's a small envelope, like... Okay, thank you. Bye. So I'm so grateful that we called the police. Um, yeah. They took it very seriously on the phone and took all our information, and they're sending a police officer here at any moment um, to check out the package for us. And we'll videotape that and let you know what happens, um, what the police say, and what, what they're going to do after they come. You know, 
if something like this happens to you, this is obviously the way to go. Like, yeah. if it, unknown sender, um, you know, no tracking, just call the police. And even though this is like coronavirus, we've had protests, they're still um, sending an officer um, to the scene because yeah. they said it was a known package from China that showed up at our door um, with no sender on it. So... These are the kinds of things that we've been talking about on our channel, like not against the Chinese people, though if you guys are supporting this kind of acts of sending mail, lies through the mail, um, not the way to make your country look any better, but this is what we're saying. We want transparency. We want to know what happened with the virus. We want to know what's going on. You know, China had soldiers also killed at the border, and I don't think there were any names and I don't think the people know who, who died. And India has already done parades. Everybody knows the names of the soldiers that passed. They've been able to send their respects. You know, it's just such a difference, such night and day. Yeah. Um, you know, the other package we got from India was exactly what we ordered from the place we ordered it from. Um, street, name, address, phone number, everything was on the package. There was no question about it. And, um, but this, this is one of those things, like, if you don't like what we're saying, let us know in the comments, email, Facebook, PO box, you know, if, if you want to start your own channel and say the Jan family doesn't know what they're talking about, go for it. It's freedom of speech. Yeah. This is what we've been talking about. Part of being a democracy, um, being able to voice your opinions, being able to say like, this is right and this is wrong. Our opinion, you know, we didn't order anything from China. We felt like this was completely wrong. No tracking, no name, nothing. Um, so we called the police to let them yep. deal with it. Go. Here. We gotta move the dogs, quick. The police are here. It came in this package, just yes. like this? just like this. So... So the mailman delivered it to you in a it was bag, in a, like this? No, no, no. I I put it in a Ziploc baggie because okay. I didn't really want to touch it after I, I read what... Uh, um, it, it just has, like, north side of China, untracked, and it says it's earrings. And it has my husband's name and our address on it, but we have not ordered anything, any earrings, anything from China. Um, Did you open the package? No. We called you. Okay. Because um, we weren't sure if there were really earrings inside or if it's like, you know. It's probably a face mask. Yeah, or a virus with a, fa a face mask with a virus in it. Um, I'm going to guess it's just a face mask. But we shall see. Possibly. Yeah, I was just a little concerned that it made it past the mail, like, mm -hmm. untracked. What is that? That looks like some kind of tea or something, perhaps. Definitely not earrings. No, definitely not earrings. Hmm. What line of work are you in? I'm a school teacher. School teacher? Okay. The reason I had, I had a guy here last week, he actually received a face mask of a very similar type of really? package. Really? And he said it was salt. But well, uh, he was in the military, though. He was, but this was just, yeah, concerning. All right. You mind if I take this one? No, you? not at all. And the name on there. That's my husband's name. But yeah, my husband, it came to him, which is even stranger because he is not on the channel at all. But if somebody else in the neighborhood got something similar... And they, How about this phone number? That's not our phone number either. Okay.
It's not the same address as the other one that I dealt with last week. Mm, from the south side of China? Yeah. No, this one actually came from Shanghai. You mind if I keep this? No, nope, not at all. Okay. I will uh, stop by and talk to the postmaster about it. I actually talked to them last week. They said they hadn't had anything similar. And the thought last week, because I said the gentleman that I dealt with is a ranking official with the National right. Guard, mm -hmm. he said he's been on television quite a bit because of the COVID, so he thought it might have been related to that yeah. somehow. Yeah, that's kind is of what freaked in any way, shape, or form? No. With that. Mm -mm. That's why I said our channel was the only reason we thought maybe because we've been speaking out kind of um, against China a little bit. That Would that have your name no, it has a PO on? box down in Gibsonia, and so. yeah, and our names are not on the channel at all. Like we we've kind of kept it like they pretty private, um, obviously other than our faces. So yeah, probably not related to that. The other thought that uh, came to mind last week was, is it somebody that is fishing for information that if you call this company, uh, oh, well, give me your credit card number right. and stuff, we'll see what your order was. Right, and, and we'll pull it up that way to, to, get, to get you, yeah. Which um, sometimes... We get those phone calls. They do do that, often. similar to phone calls. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Now it's in mail. Yeah, this was like in between other letters. And so when I pulled it, I was like, oh, earrings. And then when I looked at it, I was like, oh, I know Well, the postal yeah. service should be able to track it if it actually did come from China, mm -hmm. which the package I had last week, it did actually come from China. They were able to use their tracking system for it. So I'll check with them and see. And, uh, All right. We'll go from there. All right. Let us know. And they had your number. Yep. All right. All right. I'll check into it and let you know. All right. Thank you so much. All right. You have a good day. You too. The officer just took the package and left. He yeah. actually opened it in front of us. You guys probably saw the video clip that we took of him opening it. Um, I don't know how close you could see, but they looked like two little packages of little tiny brown seeds inside. Yeah. Um, no idea. He thought maybe tea, but... Um, not this, earrings. Not earrings. This is just aggravating. Uh, insulting and aggravating and makes us angry like that somebody would send us something and not only lie on the package but we didn't order this it is not a nice gesture at all and he also talked about there was a officer uh, a military officer that lives in our neighborhood that got a similar package because he's been on tv talking about the coronavirus so if this is China's way of trying to silence people or it's scare people, it's not working. We're still going to talk what we feel like is right and what we feel like is true. You know, like, stuff that's been coming from India, open, honesty, you know, it tells exactly what it is. Something that came from China said it was earrings, was package of brown seeds, tea, drugs i have no idea but he's taking it back to the station to check it out and he's going to police off to the post office to find the tracking number and find out exactly where it came from so if it's somebody we know china silences people in the u.s in everywhere this is not going to silence this is called freedom of speech this is yeah. our opinion if you don't like it start your own channel um this is actually not have your it. own people speak yeah we know China silences people, and part of that, I think, becomes, you know, when you're silenced so much, you tell lies to get around the silencing. And so if this was, you know, some way to silence us, it's not going to work. The police are involved now. If it came from China, they'll find out where it came from. If it's somebody in the U.S. that ordered it and went through China, they'll find out who you are. And we'll, we'll let everybody know on this channel where it came from as soon as they call us back with the information. Because this is not, this is the difference between democracy and, you know, Communist Party. Huge, huge yeah. difference. You know, we are family here. A family channel here. You know, I'm a school teacher. 
This is not the way you do business. This is not the way you treat people. And if you did this to be like a threat to us, to help your to help China and the Communist Party, it only makes China look worse. It doesn't make it look better. We are taking this as far as the police let us take, and hopefully they'll find out where it came from exactly, and we'll keep you posted on, on what we find out. And uh, hopefully we get to the bottom of this. So I hope you guys liked our update and this video, and we'll keep you posted. Don't forget to subscribe. And join our wonderful growing family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.